guys, what's up? Welcome to my video. Today, we are going to be talking about what I feel like every teenager wants to know, some creative ways to just make money, or some easy ways to make money, because honestly, I don't know what kid or what teen doesn't want to make money. I don't know, I mean, maybe this is bad, but I feel like when you're growing up, there's things you want to buy. Maybe it's a car, or a computer, or shoes, or just whatever. Maybe it's a new video game. So what I did today is I compiled a list of interesting ways to make money because I know if you, if this is something that matters to you, like when I was looking for ways to make money, I looked all over the internet and some of the things helped and some didn't, but I really want to help you. So I have a list of my top 10 ways of how to make money as a teen and not some of those weird scammy fill out surveys on apps, like things that actually work and that worked for me. So I'm gonna just share my top 10 tips with you. So before I tell you my top 10 tips, the first thing you have to do, like regardless, I think it's really super important that you set your goal of like how much money you want to make, why you're making it, and kind of have in mind the purpose behind it all because I'm going to say all the things I'm going to list a lot of times involve <laughs> hopefully other people giving you money for something for some reason or another and I think since you're a kid, you're a teen, um, you want them to respect you and you want them to respect you enough to pay you so it helps a lot of times to maybe have that reason put together so when you're like maybe doing something like pet sitting or you're doing some kind of service for them you're like thank you so much I am saving up this much money to buy a camera because photography is my passion I want to start a photography business like that's a really cool thing or maybe like whatever it is I just think it's really important to kind of have your goal in mind so it kind of gives you something to be motivated about and I do think it gives people a reason to pay you and I'll give you some things that are my recommendations but ultimately if you want to earn money money comes from someone or somewhere else and so I do think if they see like oh this is a good honest kid who has a goal I think a lot of times people want to um I don't know kind of support that and if you're working hard for it so now my first tip and this is the only one that's like this is to reduce your spending I know that's not technically like making money but if you're not spending it I mean it's still yours um I see a lot of people a lot of my friends they will get their paycheck and they'll go spend it all and if you want to be able to buy bigger things or maybe just have money in the future to do something fun like go on trips or I don't know what it is you want money for but if you'd like that you need to kind of maybe go to Starbucks less and not get coffee every day or maybe you don't go spend half of your paycheck at Target every time you get it. Second, this is my favorite tip actually because I found for me this is one of the most effective things I do and that would be to sell some of your old um, gently used stuff, whatever that may be, clothes, furniture, I don't know, old toys, video games, um, selling them on maybe Facebook, Craigslist, and yard sales. I found on Facebook a lot of times they have um, the community pages and so I feel that that's kind of like, for me in my experience, that's been kind of a safe way to sell your stuff and less sketchy than Craigslist because a lot of times it's like neighborhood moms. And I know for me, like I did this this summer, I was cleaning out my room and I wanted to get rid of two beanbag chairs. Within an hour I had like 40 or $50 cash in my hands, which is fast. Obviously I had to trade something in exchange for the money, but if you want cash quick, I think that trying to sell stuff on Facebook or some people use like Poshmark. I've never used that so I don't know about shipping your stuff out but yeah I would say go through your stuff and see if you have money just like lying around your room and the stuff you own. Another thing you can do is by is to make things and sell them. So I see a lot of girls maybe when they want to just kind of start a business or maybe they want to like go on a mission trip. I see a lot but I see people making stuff like jewelry or cute little canvases or like fun stuff if you're creative. And I would say if you have some kind of talent like that, that's an awesome way to make money. You can put it all over social media, you can market it to your friends and your family and see who will want to buy some of it. My fourth tip is to get a part-time job. I understand that some people who are watching this video may be too young to get a job, you may not be 16 yet, or maybe you don't have the time to, but I will say probably out of all the things I'm going to tell you, this is maybe the most reliable way to get money soonest, just because if you start working two or three days a week, every single week, like it's gonna add up. And so I will say, if you are old enough, maybe look into places nearby, like at your mall or at um, different food places, I see a lot of times. Or I think my friends, I feel like have the best luck with they have family owned businesses or like, um, not their families, but where it's like a small business. So then they're kind of more flexible with them and more personal, whereas if you're with a bigger company, they may and always or they may not be like that this next tip is something literally anyone can do if you are 
decently responsible and experienced with pets, and that would be pet sitting. A lot of times, maybe your neighbors or your close family friends, when they go on vacation, they don't always want to board their dogs because that can be so, so expensive. If you can build up that reputation of being someone who is trustworthy and who is good with dogs, pet sitting is awesome. Or cats, also cats too. Cats are honestly easier. I do that sometimes. I actually check on some of my mom's friend's cats and that has, when I was younger, that was one of the first ways I started earning money. And you can also do things like dog walking or maybe dog grooming. And maybe if you're not into pets or you just are still looking for more ways, a really good way is babysitting. I know not everyone can babysit or maybe you don't like kids or whatever, but babysitting pays really well a lot of times and if you get to where you have a good relationship with one family, a lot of times they'll keep calling you back and they'll recommend you to their friends. And so if that is something you're interested in, I would say maybe try approaching some of the people around you whether it be family, friends, or neighbors, and kind of say, hey, I'd like to start babysitting, or I've babysat this time before, and so I'm kind of available if you need me. And I'd say start there, and that is also a great way, because babysitting is something that, like, if you're a kid in high school, you can do that on weeknights or on weekends, and it's perfect. Something that I know works for some people that wouldn't have, I think, necessarily worked for me. Um, you can ask your parents if there are any more chores you can pick up around the house or any things you can do to earn money. I know some people's parents are super cool with that. I feel like mine didn't do that because I was bad about doing chores anyways. Um, oops. But I do know some people maybe if that means you're doing the dishes every night. Or, but some people's parents will if you're like if they know you're trying to save up for like a car or maybe they know you're saving up for something big and fun or whatever um, number eight is honestly how i get my main form of income and that is by tutoring kids i am a tutor and i tutor someone twice a week and i go over to their house and we do homework and we study and that is so fun like i like that a lot because that works for me because I enjoy school and I enjoy being with people. If you're not a people person, I'd say like refer to the pet sitting and that kind of stuff. But yeah, I have found that that is a super nice way to do that. And so if you did know anyone maybe younger than you or who would be interested in you tutoring them, that's an awesome way. Since I'm trying to also throw out things that maybe young guys might want to do, there's always, people always want lawn work and um, landscaping, I feel like. And so if you were just to offer to do, maybe to mow your neighbor's lawn and to edge their grass, that is something that I know some people, if they don't have like full-time lawn services that come and do that, that would be really, really nice. And I My last tip would just be um, if you have any services that you're good at, maybe you do makeup really well, hair, um, you take great photos, or you could do some sort of consulting, like, I don't even know. But with the internet now, there are a million different businesses you can have. Like, I do know girls my age who do makeup for, like, special events and stuff, and they charge for it. And, like, you go girl, like more power to you. So if you have any skills like that that you think you can market as like a service where it's like, I do makeup for proms and for weddings and for stuff like that, that's so cool. So I would say, um, if you're trying to earn money, think about some of your skills. See if you can market any of your skills and turn them kind of into a mini business. So guys, those are my top 10 tips of ways that you can earn and save money as a kid or a teenager. And yeah, I hope that those help you. And obviously they require some work and some time on your part, but if you're trying to earn money, you gotta work to do it. So let me know in the comments down below if any of these are helpful or if you have any other ideas, that would be really, really helpful of you. If there's something you do that works, love to know that. Be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to see more videos, and I'll see you guys next time.